Good morning. It is beautiful out today. Our goal is to go on the kayak. So we got up, the dogs are fed, my coffee's made, everyone's gone to the bathroom, and we're gonna hit the road. We're going to head our way there, get the kayak inspected. Hopefully that hole that I attempted to fix works. We will find out. Right now it is so calm, it's beautiful. So I'm really excited because Fremont Lake gets windier than Soda Lake, but right now this is what Soda Lake looks like. Still chilly out right now, but I'd rather get over there. So wish us luck. Yesterday I cleaned the whole bus again and waking up with it just clean and not cluttered felt so good. So that is my goal is to really like put things away and not like leave them out because I'm going to use them tomorrow. Just put them away. Also to make sure I do most like the dishes the night before. I've been pretty good about that, but waking up and not having to do a bunch of dishes before I'm ready to go is really nice. What are you going to do to keep the bus clean, Chris? Oh, do you got any ideas of what you can do to contribute? No? Shocker. I just stopped to get my kayak inspected and it was the same guy from last time and he's super cool. Um, he's like closer to my age so last time we kind of like shot the shit a little bit and this time he was like, I inspected last time you were on the lake for five minutes. Like he looked at me, he's like, you're good to go. And so we were just talking for a little bit but I'm so bummed because when I opened up my back door I knew I was going to forget this. I didn't take my window covers down and in the back they go all the way across and I totally ripped my, this road gets really bumpy, <laughs> I totally ripped the Reflectix and I mean I have extra and stuff but I'm like gosh darn it Chris, like, that's what I get for like rushing and like if I would have just taken one more second to take it down but oh well. <laughs> um, but I talked to him about the wind and he's like, yeah, I think today's supposed to be calmer, but it does get windy out, out there quick. And he's like, usually around noon. And I looked at the weather and it does show the wind picking up at noon. So we're going to get out there. It's like probably 930, close to 10. We're going to get out there ASAP. And then around noon, we're going to stay closer to the boat launch. Because um, last time I told him, like, it was so windy. I thought we were going to tip over. And I had my big cooler on the back and I'm not doing that today. So... I'm excited, it's so pretty out. Like, I don't, there's something about just driving and like seeing the snow-capped mountains. It still feels unreal to me. And it's like, people see this every day and they're probably so used to it. And I think about like back home, what people probably think is so special and I'm not really sure what that would be. <laughs> um, but probably just the landscape in general. Um, but like right there, pronghorn deer, just so pretty. I don't know, I'm just like, I woke up this morning and I was like, I am just really grateful for this. Like, I'm just so glad I chose to do this with my life because I always wondered what if. Um, and I told myself if I hate it, I can sell the bus and, you know, change. You can always change, you know. So, I'm just really glad. Okay, dogs, these dogs are ridiculous. They like fight over my attention. And I'm thinking about getting a third, like what? I decided about the dog trip and thinking about it. I'm waiting till the next litter to think about it more, but I'm definitely gonna work on Bodhi's training a little bit. He's a really great dog. I'm sure you guys can tell just from the little that you see. But lately, he gets so excited when he sees other dogs on leash. And it's like such a naive excitement, but it is, he's so big and he kind of gets the zoomies and he doesn't listen to me. So we're gonna work on that a little bit more. And um, that's my goal is to get his training better and then I can decide from there if I'm gonna bring a third dog in. I feel like I could, like three dogs, I can handle people do it, but most people are a couple and that does make a big difference because that's one other person holding the leash. And Izzy's just, pretty terrible as it is like she doesn't really walk at a leash so it's not that I would be walking three dogs a whole lot it's more of when I do have to and we see another dog like Izzy doesn't listen and she just gets it like I don't want to say excited but she gets Izzy and sassy and um trying to control and she gets Bodie going and but hers is more being sassy and Bodie's is more being excited and if there was a third one acting that way I would look like a lunatic who can't control her dogs the water is so calm. I'm really excited. Get 
Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna blow up the kayak. I'm so excited. <laughs> And when I get on the water, it just always, like, that's my favorite thing. I think over anything outdoors is, like, kayaking and paddleboarding. And I feel like when paddleboarding was starting to get a little bit more, like, popular or accessible to people is when we lived in San Diego. And so almost every single day, me and Bodie paddleboarded um, by my house. And I could, like, walk down to the water with it. And so it's just something that, like we've always filled our time with and like spent our day doing whether it was in the morning or at night it was like our it was like our quiet time it was i don't know it just what like really grounded me and it was also when i was getting into yoga and i just feel like my life really started to shift during that period in a good way and so it just always feels like a part of us and i'm really glad now that izzy can do it with us too um yeah it's just it's our thing and I just really, really like it. Is this not the cutest thing you ever did see? Baby, I hate to break it to you, but that's my spot. It is so peaceful out here. It's perfect, there's like not many motorboats. Um, the water is quiet, you can hear the birds. This is what we are needing. <laughs> what are you doing? Be careful, baby. Sit, Bodhi. Good boy. Oh, Bodhi's upset because he wants to go to the beach and swim, but we're not going to do that yet. Mm. Right. I just have to say, this board is amazing. Um, we've always had a paddle board and it was mostly just me and Bodie and then the past year or so Izzy started joining us. But I remember last summer there was a point where I was like, I think a kayak would come in handy for certain things where we don't want to get wet, it's cold. But I found the best of both worlds. It's a kayak and a paddle board. So the seat I'm sitting on is removable. You can take it off and it's nice because it gives us a lip. So like the dogs can, like Izzy can stand on it. Bodhi can like rest his paws. And I just feel so much more secure in this. And I am loving this board. I will say I paid for this board myself but i do have a link in my bio if you want to check it out it's boat boards and so far they're an amazing company they sell some really cool stuff they are on the like more expensive end but i think it's totally worth it because i have bought a really cheap pedal board and that's not worth it. it's worth spending your money and the company is very like loyal but anyway if you use my uh link in my bio you do get a discount so um if you're interested in this board just check it out they have so much other things too but uh they also make my board in like what it looks like wood and that one's really cute and i kind of wish i got that one but i love this board so much i am so happy with it so i like 100 percent suggest it to anyone that likes doing the things i like doing Of course, the wind picked up before it was supposed to. It was pretty strong, so we made our way back. And I think I'm gonna eat lunch, more tacos, because I have so much taco stuff. And then we're just gonna hang out for the beach for a couple hours, and then it's time to get some work done. Kind of having one of those realization moments right now. 
Like, it's a Wednesday morning, now afternoon. I woke up, went kayaking. I'm eating homemade tacos, sitting in my driver's seat with, like, the heat coming through the dash. And I'm just like... I don't know. I feel like I'm living the retired life, but I will say, like, I'll interject with that. Like, I have work I have to do this afternoon, but... I never thought, this is always the life I imagined, like, doing what I wanted, but also having that balance of work. And right now, it's just like, I'm kind of, I'm doing it. Like, I think I could have a little bit more balance, and I could work a little bit more than I have been. But right now, it's fine. In the future, I'll probably need to work a little bit more. But, I mean, I'm eating tacos in my bathing suit with them uh, begging for food. But like, I just got done kayaking and I just met. So there was someone with a dive flag in the water and they were snorkeling. And I assumed, I honestly, I was like, it's probably an older person. It's a Wednesday morning, like probably retired. And it was a kid my age. And I said hi to him and we had like small talk. And then I just like, it's just crazy. It's like, it's sad. I think we complicate life way more than it needs to be, myself included. And this today, this morning, was just a good reminder, like, do what you want. <laughs> because your whole life, it cannot be work. And I've always felt that way, but I do feel like it's really important to prioritize the things you enjoy doing in prioritizing how to fit them in with work. Um, I feel like today I really did that. I feel like this week I've done that, but yeah, I'm just kind of having that like moment right now where I'm like, I did whatever I wanted this morning. It's beautiful out. And now I get to like sit in my cool bus, like, I mean, cool as in temperature wise, <laughs> and get some work done. And then I can go back out to the water. Feels pretty good. Remember this morning when I was like getting the whole speech about keeping the bus clean and waking up and it feeling good that way? Yeah, um, my wet paddle board and my Sandy and Bodie's soaking wet and Sandy. The bus is a mess. <laughs> I mean, a mess. Like it's it's pretty bad but the way i look at it is you know we're living life we hung out on the water all day today me and bodie played all day in the water it's freezing let me tell you freezing and i got in the water for the last time just to get the sunscreen off me izzy played a little bit but she took a nap in the bus for most of the part but we had an awesome day and i don't even care that my bus is trashed. Not just because my wet kayak is in here, but because there's sand and water everywhere. So anyway, we we're gonna hang out here until the sun went down because I was hoping that the wind would cool a little bit so we could go kayaking again, but I just don't feel like it's worth it. I'd kind of rather I got a lot of work done in between today. Like today was not just a play day. I got a lot of work done um, that needed to be done. So I'm kind of ready to go back to our spot and cook dinner and relax. And I'm gonna set this outside, I guess. So tomorrow, it's only supposed to be like, it's supposed to be a little chillier and cloudy in the morning, but I'm hoping it's wrong and I'm hoping it's like sunny and I hope it makes it nice out because that's the whole reason I didn't really fully take care of this is because I wanted to come back in the morning. So, we're gonna live through this mess. And I mean, like, it's it's so sandy. Like, I'm soaking wet still. My feet are pure sand, so it's, I don't, I don't care, but also I'm like, there's a dog here on there. I don't care, but also it was so clean this morning and it felt so good and I talked about how good it felt. But this also feels good because 
this is our life and this is what we like doing so anyway okay we're gonna get back this passes yeah and then er time too this is my view cooking right now really doesn't get much better than this what do you think little girl I made the executive decision to make a s'more. First time I'm making a s'more outside in quite a while. Oh, would you like one little child? <laughs> S'mores are only for Chrissies. Only Chrissy beans. No Bodhi beans. Sorry, kiddo. This spot, this place is just beautiful. And like the wind his, the wind has died down and the water is calm. <sighs> it's magical. The only thing is, you can hear people across the water really well. So I'm trying to be quiet because I tend to talk to my dogs a lot. And I don't want people thinking I'm crazy, you know? S'mores with a view. Huh, baby? Sorry. No chocolate.